Hello choir, this conducting video is for Smoky Mountain Gospel Medley. This is a fun and uplifting anthem and we're going to be a little creative with it. We've received so much positive feedback from singing virtually in a boat and virtually in our choir loft that it's time to have some more fun. This time we are going to sing from a house, specifically a farmhouse, very much like the Walton's house. Also, I have designed some simple choreography that you can do within your little box that I make. You know, your little heads are up there. So some choreography you can do, and it won't distract you from your singing. Now, I know you don't have the music memorized, and you'll need to look at the music when you're singing, so the choreography is simple. Okay, here's the choreography. In general, the men are going to be to the right of the women, and the women are going to be to the left of the men and both groups will be positioned on the porch and the roof. You'll see in the final version, okay? So specifically, um, let's get to this. So verse 1, the men will sing by themselves, and verse 2, the women will sing by themselves. And this is where we have some special choreography, if you want to call it that. So um, at, at, verse, at verse 1, measure 7, when the men start singing, the women are to look to their right, as the men sing. So when the men start singing, here's my right shoulder. Women, you go like this. You make it look like you're looking at them and you're enjoying the music and the beat, okay? Now, now at measure 27, just before the women sing, the congregation is going to be prompted to clap. And I want you all to clap at that point. But you'll have to clap in front of your face like this. You know, you can't clap outside of this square that, I've, that I'll be making, say, okay? So it'll be like this. And I'll give you a demonstration, a video demonstration. So after that clapping starts, okay, women, of course, you stop as soon as you start to sing your verse. So here it is right here. Look, you can see we finish the chorus, then we start clapping, and then when the women sting, sing, everyone stops clapping, and the men, you look to your left. So when the women start singing, men, you look to your left. This is my left. And kind of nod in time. And that's really it for the choreography. Um, let me see. Yes. And uh, measure 66, we start clapping again. Uh, the congregation will be prompted to clap and to sing at measure 66. Here is measure 66. You can see right here, we finished this one section. And then right there, you start clapping again. Again, the congregation will be prompted to clap, but you also start clapping. And then you stop clapping once you start singing. That's it for choreography. Now for general stuff. Uh, generally speaking, all the way throughout this piece, we want big smiles. Big smiles. It'll keep the piece fun and interesting and very, very joyful. Okay? Dynamics. Generally speaking, nice, full tone throughout with lots of energy. And I'm going to make this easy. We're not going to follow the exact written dynamics. The principle is this. The choruses are louder than the verses. We can target like this. A verses about a mezzo forte and choruses a forte. That's the general principle. Okay. Entrances and cutoffs, very clear in this piece. No tricky ones. We will follow the music exactly. Um, breathe where there are rests. And let me show you, for example, there's a quick breath. We're going to follow that. Take a quick breath. It's very clear, clearly done on the example. Uh, and here's the women's uh, same basic um, melody. Uh, you'll breathe right there. But for the most part, the, everything's pretty easy. Um, there's only one phrase that's a little long, okay? And it's from the piece, I'm bound from the prom for the promised land. You can see right there, I am bound from the promised land, and I am bound. Make sure to keep singing through that. If you run out of breath, what are you supposed to do? Breathe in the middle of the word. Do not finish the word early. Let the choir finish the word. Once again, we don't want, we don't want loud consonants sticking out in places where they don't belong. Okay, the form. Uh, pretty easy to read, but there's one tricky spot, and that's the DS al coda. 
del Senio al Coda. Let's look at that very quickly. Look on page three. Um, we uh, start singing from the top of page three, and then we meet this here, del Senio. We go back to measure 17. Measure 17 is right here. There's the Senio. Then we sing through all the way to this, and then it tells us to go to measure 40, where the coda is. And so we go to the coda right here, and then we finish the piece as written, straight through. Look at that a couple times. The, the idea is pretty simple, but sometimes it's easy to get lost in the music. Okay, quick review for video. Y'all are doing a great job, just want to review. Remember to be about, about two feet from the camera and mic. We want everyone's voice the same distance from the mic so I can blend the choir very well. Remember to look good on camera, good lighting in front of you, okay? And see if you can have the background very plain or, or dark, okay? So we can have uh, your face the principal object that's easily uh, visible. And remember to have your camera as eye level as you possibly can. Some people need to improve this a bit. If you're using a laptop, try placing a couple books under the laptop to raise it up to your eye level, okay? If your camera is detached, you may have to find a way to raise the camera a bit by attaching it to something. Still, everything looks good. These are just tweaks. Just see what you can do to improve it a little bit. Um, for eye level stuff. Um, and remember the order of the video. You're all getting good at this, but let me review. Start the video, then start the music, sing, and when the music's over, finally over, you count to five. Make sure it's a long five, and then stop the video. And I say a long five because some people are counting pretty quickly. One, two, three, four, five, and then I see that. We want this, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Of course, you don't want to be counting like I am. You want to do it internally. But just, just want to make sure we have a lot of time at the end so everyone's smiling. So remember, video, and then start the music, and smile, sing all the way through. When the music's over, smile. A big smile, count to five, 1,001, 1,002, and then stop the video. All right, have a great time with this anthem. This is going to be a big blessing of joy and, and fun for our congregation.